Okay, I'm going to cast this light bulb. It looks like a little fluorescent light bulb. It's got a nice simple shape. It'll make uh, be good for a two-piece model. So I want to make sure that I have a couple inches on each side of the board. So if I take a measurement of this, it's five, five and a half inches long. So if I add two inches there, yeah, about nine inches looks like that would be a good size. So we'll make this, let's make it about nine inches. I'd like to have a, a beefy, beefy wall, but not too beefy. And then if we do that nine inches, then we're going to two inches there, and two inches there. These are really, really handy uh, squares. Uh, I got a Harbor Freight. One of the great deals that Harbor Freight offers is their measuring tools pretty good. Okay. This is going to be the separation board. So I have to make this. be up terribly high at this point. This is really important work, part of the process right here. So we've got to get that parting line. And the first thing we're going to look, try to get is the parting line flat. That little area that comes in contact on the surface with this is going to be a parting line that where that where that edge meets. widest point that you get. I could get some backlight. I got enough. There's a bit of a curve of the light and right where it pinches the curve at the ruler is where you get your line. Makes a bit of an arc, especially if you have some backlighting. That level flat. I gotta check it. Make sure that level was flat. Yep. Yep. Perfect. 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 A little high right there. Okay. Wow, this is great light. Good backlighting. Doing this, it's great to have backlighting. Light on coming in from this side. Going a little high. Oops. See Daisy. If you have any any undercut, the mold will fail. Now this is the same basic principle for making a flexible mold too. You have to understand this principle for making flexible molds. And the same principle for sand casting. You gotta pull your pattern out of the sand. Understanding this principle, you can make a complex piece mold. 
Okay, now we have the separation line. Now, a little more accuracy here. I can find my pencil. There we go. There we go. Okay, now where this edge meets at the, at the bottom, you want to make a line. Follow, put this snug up against your 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 model and just make a little dotted line all the way around you connect the dots keep that flat using some type of wood product something that could absorb water because you're going to be putting plastic so foam core or cardboard, poster board, isn't going to be any good to you. There's no reason to take this clay off of the, the, the bulb off the clay. We can keep it mounted to the clay. But we're going to take this board over to the bandsaw. Keep the clay attached to your project if you can, because that will just save time. Now we'll take this over to the bandsaw. Situate on the board so it's center. Simply push down until you meet your parting line. You want to make sure it's material in to the to get your slip or plaster into your mold. So I'm going to make that into a that is going to be our pour pour spout for the mold. What I'm going to do is attach it from the inside. Material squeeze out. There. Hey, there's our pour cup. With the uh, speed clamps, you don't have the strength of holding that these have. See how I can move the clamps like that, get them away from the work. I'll just put this in finger around, pressing hard, getting as much material in there. Once you do this with waterbound clay, you got to work fairly quickly because the clay was is going to. Uh, I could just take this off for right now. The clay is 
going to shrink and crack, so you got to work well before the clay dries, which is under an hour. If you feel like you don't have that much time, then probably use silicone caulking would work. The nice thing about the clay with plaster, the cleanup is just with water. Pressing that down nice, it's going to give us a nice little seam. No undercuts, see? No undercuts, that's what you want. No undercuts. This, uh, the, the board I used is Luon board. It's the kind of board you use for making doors. Get at Home Depot for about $7 a board. It's like about 3 30 seconds of an inch thick. cause big problems. So you don't want a little pinhole because you can blow your mold out. And that's a very sad thing when you blow your mold out. And the little pinhole will lead into a big huge mold collapse. <clears throat> I've tried to explain to people for years different principles of mold making. And I've basically given up on trying to explain how to make a mold and just give a demonstration. It's much easier than trying to explain. And you can be quite sparing actually. The, at the same time when you're applying this, you're cleaning up the various sections of the mold. Don't put on too much. Sides. So we'll release. These boards, after you get a lot of use on them, will have a nice patina on them in the years to come. Now let's get ready and go into the wet stage. This is the dry stage. Now the wet stage is the plastic. Try and keep as much air out of the plaster as you can. I think it's going to take at least two quarts of plaster. This plaster is almost ready to go off. It's not. If you feel anything hard in there, it's gone. But it's starting to clump. It's got probably a week's worth of life in it. But never put a wet hand in plaster. Always use dry when going into the bag of plaster. It's almost two to one mixture, two plasters to one water. But yeah, okay, this will be good. And then I'll just do a Mix it. Shake it. I'm starting to create a peak. You can kind of go slow at this stage. I think that's plenty plaster right there. It's got a nice little peak. I could put just a little bit more in. Now we'll let it slake. I used to measure the time, the slaking time by one cigarette. Just sit there and have a cigarette. Let it slake. But this is the time. Don't stir it. Just let it absorb and sit there. Okay, we've had a few minutes to let that. It's like we want it pourable. 
I'm going to come under here and stir from underneath. I don't want to stir in a lot of air bubbles. I'm letting my fingers bring it, bring the plaster down. I'm swirling underneath the bottom of the plaster, bringing it in. Okay. Now you have a limited amount of time to work. It means I've got to stir this plaster, go out and rinse my hands, move the camera, and pour it. Which doesn't give me a lot of time. This is perfect consistency of plaster. Absolutely perfect. If you can get a long string, that'll pull the bubbles out. See a little bit of lumpiness there. That's okay. Go crazy on the tapping. You can lose lose your mold. Yeah, okay. This is beautiful plaster. Nice. This will be a nice move. Yeah, I think it's been about 45 minutes. It's had a chance to uh, start cooling down. It's still a little warm. I'll pull this plug out. I'll go ahead and take these boards off. Yeah, see that makes a nice little pour spout. Okay, we want to be very careful not to dislodge the bulb, bulb light bulb, your pattern. We'll call it the pattern. A lot of industry people call it pattern. And now we'll just very carefully flip this over. And remove this clay. here. You can take a real small um, square or something like this and run clay around and make sure that there's no, uh, not, no undercuts. You may be keen. Now on this you never want to touch this with wax because this is going to be um, you want to use mold soap instead. I've got a little. Now we want to key it. They have mold knives that all you have to do is just draw around, just go in circles. But this will work. We want it fairly deep, and you want it big so it keys well. Little keys break off. So you want a good, nice, stout key. Don't make little keys. You want to get it nice and round. Take your time. The plaster of this green stage is very nice to work into. A nice, beautiful key. There we go. You don't have to be in a hurry. I'm putting more pressure on the outside edge than the inside edge. I'm getting these beautiful keys. Nice, deep, beautiful keys. Take your time. Always try to do beautiful work no matter what you do. This tool is called a gouge. 
This is a gouge for marble. You can get a gouge for wood, probably be better. There's many different ways to make keys. This is just one way, one of many, many, many ways. You could be as inventive as you want. I just like these kind of keys because they come out really round as opposed to making them out of clay. I just think they look a little nicer. Okay, I'm getting ready to go for round two now. We'll use mold soap on this one. That way we won't contaminate the plaster. Okay, now this clay that we saved, we'll just do along the edges, run a little bead. Inherently, plaster won't stick to itself after it's dried. So, you don't need a lot of mold soap. The tendency is to over, want to overdo the mold soap much. Just, you can even use a little clay water. You really don't even need anything if you don't want it. cleaned out nicely. These are great little hog hair brushes. Harbor Freight gets a great deal. But the best brush for mold brush is an old men's shaving brush made of badger hair. Put this on the boards quite liberally and the residue on my brush is all I'm going to put on the plaster. I'm not going to put very much on the plaster. Just See, just so that the plaster has a slight sheen to it. I don't need a thick, muddy layer. You can put lots of liberal, liberally on the wood, that's no problem. You don't need a lot on the plaster, just put in the keys well. Another thing that's not so good about these badger hair brushes is the brush hairs like to fall in. But they're sure handy brush and Harbor Freight sure has a good price on them. Too much. If you feel like you got too much soap on your mold, just put it out in the sun for a day or two and the sun will dry up that mold. This is going to take about three quarts of plaster. That's about a cup and a half, a quart and a half of water. See it's starting to gather in the center there. You want it to peak. And you got a nice peak. The peak isn't dropping down anymore and it stays afloat. Put a little bit around the edges there. It stopped bubbling. So again, mixing up from underneath, pulling it down with your fingers. Nice consistency. Get all those little bubbles out. All those little lumps. Pour it in. Now if you stretch out that stream, you can pull a lot of bubbles out just like that. See? No bubbles. Just keep it coming in that one side. Let's spread around. Get a little bit of lump, that's okay. Looks like I'm gonna be a little shy of plaster. Ah, now. 
Perfect. Take a little turn and tap it a little bit. Okay, we're going to give this about another half hour, 45 minutes, let's set up before we take it out. Okay, it's ready to take apart. It's been about half hour, 45 minutes. And uh, let's see what this little guy's going to look like. Remove the clamps. Very nice. This is a nice looking plastic. Still a little warm. You gotta be careful when you move a warm plaster that you don't damage the keys. I used to have all the plaster knives, all that stuff. I don't know what ever happened to them. about breaking the plaster. I'm going to let it cool for another... Yeah. I could break those keys off. I don't want to break those keys. Give a little more resistance than I care to. I'm going to let that cool off. I don't want to break those keys. Yeah, it's still hot. I'm going to leave it overnight and uh, come back when it's cold because it's just too tender to try to separate right now. You want to just break that suction slowly. Force it. Just looking to get a hairline. There we go looked up straight so we don't knock those there I just clean that out <sighs> this will be interesting I'm gonna get this out I could just break it fluorescent so it's got mercury in it. I'll work down here on the um, metal part. Yeah, I think if we just get it loosened up right in this area in here. There we go. There we go. See? Didn't have to break it. So now we have a mold of 
light bulb. Move this out with this tool. There you go. Two piece mold with the light bulb.